Hi, welcome to Wash My Heartfelt Food. It's a very simple one pot meal. Vegetable biryani cooked in a pressure cooker. So for this, we'll need 2 cups of rice, either basmati or jeera ka sambar rice. Wash and soak the rice for 20 minutes. 4 onions, chop them into very thin slices. 2 tomatoes, chop them into fine cubes. 2 cups of mixed vegetables 1 tablespoon ginger and garlic paste 1 cup mint leaves 1 cup coriander leaves 1 cup coconut milk 3 green chili slit 1 tablespoon chili powder 1 tablespoon coriander powder 1 tablespoon garam masala Whole spices Bay leaf Cardamom cinnamon, cloves, star anise and black stone flour. Now in a pressure pan, take 2 tablespoons of oil and 1 tablespoon of ghee. Once the ghee melts, you can add the whole spices one by one. After the oil is seasoned, add the chopped onions. Fry the onions really well. Browning of onions is very important. This might take some time so you can add a little bit of salt to fasten the process. So fry it and once the onions turn brown, add ginger and garlic paste. Once the raw smell of the ginger and garlic paste goes, add green chilies and chopped mint and coriander leaves. Fry these in the oil well. At this point, add quarter spoon of turmeric powder and then add the tomatoes. Cook the tomatoes really well and wait for the raw smell to leave. So once the tomatoes are cooked, we'll add the spice powders, mix them well and then add the chopped vegetables. Adding vegetables is your choice. You can also add mushrooms, cauliflower, butter beans and even potatoes. So it's totally optional and up to your choice. Now drain the water from the rice and add it. Mix the rice nicely in the oil so that even if there is excess water, it might get dried out. Once you mix the rice with the masala and vegetables, it's time to add the coconut milk. So I'm adding one cup of coconut milk and two and a quarter cups of hot boiling water. So totally for two cups of rice, we've added three and a quarter cups of water and coconut milk. So at this point, check for the salt. So you'll have to add it for both the rice and the vegetables. So add a little bit more. Mix it well and wait for the coconut milk to start boiling. Now you can close the pressure pan, put on the whistle and cook it for two whistles. Once it's done, wait for the pressure to release on its own and open the pressure cooker very carefully. Now either using a spoon or a fork, mix it very gently so that you don't break the rice and vegetables. Mix it evenly on all the sides. Now the very tasty one pot vegetable biryani is ready. You can serve this with onion and cucumber raita. It's a perfect lunchbox recipe too. Please do try and leave your comments.
to watch the same recipe in Tamil, click the link given below. Thank you for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel.